Okay, so here they say, given this over here, solve for x in the inequality. Okay, so before I even look at the inequality, the first thing I notice is that we have fractions. Now, when we have a fraction, and we're busy with equations, we need to get a common denominator. Okay, so if you can imagine that this one is currently one over one, so what is a common denominator with three, two, and one? Well, that would be six. So the lowest common denominator will be six. So to convert everything to a six, I would multiply this one here by two, this one here by two, because what you do to the bottom, you do to the top. This you would multiply by three, same at the top, and then this you would multiply by six, same at the top. All right, so that's gonna leave us with um, two x over six, greater than three x over six, plus six over six. Now, when you are busy with equations, inequalities, for example, in equations or inequalities, uh, where you've got an equal sign or if you've got an inequality sign, if your denominators have the same number at the bottom, you can get rid of that, okay? So you'd then end up with 2x is greater than 3x plus 6, and now it's just a matter of solving. So you could take all the x's left, or you could take all of the x's right. It's up to you, okay? I'm gonna take all of the x's to the left, so we end up with uh, 2x, ooh, there's something very interesting coming in up here now. So 2x minus 3x is greater than 6. Now what is 2 minus 3? It's negative 1. Okay, now listen up carefully. I'm going to just rewrite that over here. If you want to get x alone, then you need to divide. Um, you need to divide by negative 1. When you divide by a negative number, this inequality sign has to change. Okay, like that. If Now here's where learners get it wrong. If this number was already a negative, then you don't have to switch the sign because then you're not dividing by a negative number. Here you're only dividing by two. See, you're not dividing by a negative number, you're dividing by a positive number. But when you are dividing with a negative number, like, like what we did here, then you change the sign, okay? And so x would be smaller than uh, negative six because six divided by negative one is negative six. Okay, so there's our answer for that one. Now it says, if x is an element of z, remember the z means um, integer. What is an integer? An integer is any number like um, minus three, uh, seven, eight, zero, uh, 10, minus four. It's all of the negatives and positives, but it's not numbers with decimals and things like that. So it says, if x is an integer, write down the first two um, the first, oh, the first two-digit number that satisfies the inequality. So listen, listen to this carefully. What is it saying? It says that x, so let's write this down. x is a number, okay, smaller than negative six. Now, what is smaller than negative six? You've got to be super careful about this. Is negative five smaller than negative six? No, negative five is actually bigger than negative six. But Kevin, five is smaller than six. Yes, but we're going negative, okay? Would you rather want your bank balance to say negative six or negative five? I would rather want my bank balance to say negative five because it means I'm less in debt. If my bank balance says negative 100, it means that I'm 100 rand in debt, which means I really don't have a lot of money. So, so you gotta be careful when it's, um, and I'll show you on a number line. Let's start to zero, then it goes one, two, three, and then it goes minus one, minus two, minus three. The more you go that way, the smaller the numbers become because they're going negative. So negative four is smaller than negative three. As you go this way, the numbers become bigger. Okay, so negative one is actually bigger than negative two. So it says here, x is a number smaller than minus six, so it means that it must go, um, it must go more this way. Okay, because that means we're going smaller. So let me just draw this in a better place. So if that's zero, that's one, that's two, then negative one, negative two, negative three. I'm gonna skip a few and then just go negative six. So we need to go even smaller than negative six. Uh, so that would be negative seven, negative eight, negative nine. And they said that it must be a two digit number. So that would be negative 10. So it says x is a number smaller than negative six, and it must be the first two digit number that we see, so it would be negative 10.